Well, joining us now for uh, more on all of this is uh, TRT World's Francis Collings, who joins me now. Francis, uh, hello there. Um, are we at some sort of political deadlock then, it seems, here, or is there a sign that maybe relationships could be thawing? It, it's a complicated scenario simply because, and we don't know exactly where they're at, but there are uh, talks that have made an awful lot of progress towards the reunification of Cyprus. It's been partitioned, it'll be 42 years this June. Um, they're closer than they've ever been, but obviously there are some sticking points. Notably, the presence of the military in the north of Cyprus. Turkey currently has about 30,000 troops there, but there are many other things they're negotiating on regarding energy, regarding compensation, regarding properties, because on both sides of this divide, people own properties in the south, but they haven't seen them for 40 years, and vice versa. So what's going on is these are in the background, and at the same time, um, the Greek Cypriot government is, it seems somewhat, I would say, irritated that there seems to be a fait accompli to this EU deal with Turkey. And they're saying, well, hang on, we need to accept this as well, and we still have some concerns we have to put forward to the Turkish government. Can we outline what some of those major concerns are, why the Cypriot government is, is taking such a hard stance here? Well, well certainly in terms of uh, the security of the island, certainly in terms of uh, the future. I mean, Cyprus is an island that, uh, once it got independence in 1960, had three guarantor powers, being Britain, Turkey and Greece. Now, they've agreed that that won't happen in the future because it's seen as being an excuse for some sort of intervention, possibly. They want to nail down exactly where they are regarding regarding security. They want to nail down the compensation. Um, but we have a situation now where Turkish registered ships, for example, don't dock, sorry, Cypri uh, Greek Cypriot registered ships don't dock in Turkish ports. The airports don't communicate, for example. All these things have to be sorted out, but they don't want it to be sorted out uh, unless it's, it's a proper deal. Now, Cyprus is going to a referendum later this year, possibly on this deal. And the Greek Cypriot position is, if we haven't got an uh, arrangement with Turkey, we haven't got everything nailed down, there's a good chance the, the, the population could reject that deal in Cyprus and we could be back to square one. So they want to make sure everything is watertight. OK, Francis, uh, thank you for the update. Francis Collins.